Well, welcome back. Why? <laughs> so, I was up test flying the microdamit the other day, and right by where I was was one particular cow wouldn't move. And I actually landed uh, quite close to said cow, never moved. And uh, it seemed to be licking something on the ground, and it was that. And when I went to go and pick it up, um, it literally tried to grab it and go off with it. And when I picked it up, there's a very strong smell of what I now know is it's an apple peach e-cigarette. Now, I know nothing about e-cigarettes, but I know they have a battery in them. So, what I'm going to do is I am just spraying this with some... Um, something from my clinic just to make sure that I've got any nasties off of it and I'm going to take it apart and let's see what's inside because I know these have a battery um, and I have seen on certain forms people using batteries so I think if the coward had eaten that that could have been quite nasty so let's have a go are taking it apart and find out what battery right. I've got. So, that's all cleaned. Right, ah, tops off. And there is some sort of small pipe. Which I am going to remove. So that's got broken wires on it already. Oh, but there is a battery down the end. I suspect somebody has had a go at this. And the battery is stuck in the bottom at the moment, so bear with me. I am going to get... off the bottom of that I don't know what that is in the end of there um, somebody might be able to enlighten me as to what that is right here we go oh oh a 3.7 550 milliamp hour lipo. Oh, this is interesting. So I wonder if this, I mean, God, can you imagine if the cow had had eaten that? Um, right, so I think I'd better get me a tester on it and see what's happening. Right, so, got me AVO out. Let's see what we get out of this. That's on there. Oh, that's showing 2.9 volts. Ooh. So, I guess we better have a go at seeing if we can charge that. And uh, if it's got any life left in it. Right, so I quickly charged that up using some crocodile clips. I charged it up at 3.7 volts, 550 milliamp hour. And let's see what we get on the voltage. There you go, that's shown 4.6. See if you can see that. Oh, 
Oh, come on, you twat. Right, there you go. That's showing 4.6. So. Right, so that's showing 4.6. Um, I am going to do some experiments with... Um, I think we'll see if I can get some more of these off of eBay. Uh, it might end up being the same um, video. I have a uh, servo lead there which is thick gauge wire. So I'm now gonna solder this up just as a one cell, try either in the Microdamit or my June Freak. It's showing the voltage, I've got no idea um, how long it's gonna last, but um, I've got a servo checker, uh, sorry, a uh, voltage checker. So uh, I'm just gonna wire this up and see how we get on. But as I say, I'm gonna have a look on eBay because um, I have the new Beck from uh, Angel Wing Designs and I'm thinking two of these soldered together uh, would make 7.4 volts and I think looking at the size they would fit right in the uh, micro damn it I mean, God, you could fly it for months on that so um, I'll keep I'm gonna crack you don't literally you do not want to see me soldering because uh, Right, so, soldered up and ready to try in uh, one of my gliders. It's, it's still holding, I've charged it up. One little thing I have done, I've soldered it up. I just got a tiniest little bit of hot glue and then squeezed it on the top, licked my finger and dropped the end. So I've got those ends are sealed and the tape's on just to keep the, uh, I haven't got any heat shrink that will do that. Uh, but anyway, that's ready to go now. Okay, so I uh, scoured the internet, uh, got on eBay, and um, ended up buying these. Now these are these are the actual cases for the e-cigarettes, and the chap I bought them off. They advertised as used once, so exactly the same battery. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to have a go at um, soldering these two in uh, series so in other words one end is going to be negative to positive and then put another lead on the other end um, I should add this caveat I am NOT an electronics engineer I'm absolutely shit at soldering uh, so anything you see here um, is at my own risk and anything you do um, yourself is entirely at your own risk it's a bit like the Spanish Inquisition really <laughs> anyway I'm gonna have a go at soldering two of these because the interesting thing is two of these appear to fit across the fuselage of the dammit and I've got another project to show you so let me see how I get on with these so I've got some good news and I've got some bad news <laughs> the bad news is uh, the first two that I tried to solder together soldering went beautiful stuck the uh, lead on and then accidentally touch one of those across the connector and it joined the two and uh, the battery went pfft, and then that was it so uh, one of them showing I think one of them showing 1.95 volts and the other one showing 2.75 the 2.75 I might have another go at trying to save but that was my own mistake now let me show you what I'm very pleased with is that for the micro damn it this is what I've made so that's two of those soldered up in series so that's now showing 7. Point it's actually showing nearly 8 volts it's 7.4 volts 500 milliamp hour now um, I'm now going to stick this beautifully fits in to the micro dammit and check in the CAG it's nearly spot on so I've had I've taken a load of weight out which is actually superb and it's literally run for months now the other part of this project was that um, I bought one of these from Angel Wing Designs. It's a Beck. So the idea is it's going to knock that down. So when I run this at 7.4, I think actually my Futile uh, receiver will actually uh, receive would take that. But I've put that connector on and when I connect it together out the other end going into the receiver, it's knocking it down to 4.5. 
So uh, I have no idea how long a 7.4 500 milliamp power is going to last on that, but it will be absolutely ages. So two things to try. <clears throat> We've got the new battery. I've got the new Beck from Angel Wing Designs. Now the Angel Wing Designs Beck that you buy um, won't come um, with that fitting on. Um, it comes with um, that fitting. So it's for a slightly different battery. So I've um, I just literally unpinned those and resoldered um, that on. Now the other thing I'm really pleased about is that it's also going to fit into this. Whoa! A new build I'm going to do titled "Is this the easiest glider in the world to build?" But I don't know if it flies yet. So uh, hopefully that battery is going to fit straight on there with the Beck. Uh, I do you know what, I'm still going to have to add some weight to that, but um, yeah, that's the other glider I'm going to try it on. So I'm going to try it on this first, because if this goes pear-shaped, I'm not going to be too hurt about losing this or damaging this. So, fingers crossed, weather allowing, you will see me on the hill with my Dammit S and my cheap foam ball glider, and I'll let you know how I got on.